All I remember is staying up all night and just focusing on my breathing, not going to sleep. It was very scary times. This Mesa mom is recovering after almost dying from COVID complications. The two-time cancer survivor is obviously at high risk, and even though she was fully vaccinated, she still got a breakthrough infection. Emma's on the story. She's in the newsroom with this. Emma, how long has she been in the hospital? How long was she there? The mom of four tells me she spent a month in the hospital fighting COVID, pneumonia, and sepsis. She says there were multiple times she almost went into a coma. To be honest with you, the lung doctor came in with a tear in his eye and told me I was a true miracle. Angela Kubler is a fighter. In 2015, she had thyroid cancer. Then last year, she beat colon cancer. Now she is recovering from a COVID infection that almost killed her. I fought. I fought as hard as I could. I never gave up. I never gave up. The 44-year-old got vaccinated in February, but didn't get her booster shot yet. Last month, she was hospitalized with COVID. Kubler said she had to be put on oxygen and ended up in the ICU. Basically, are just fighting for your life and trying to breathe the best you can. You focus on breathing. There's really nothing else you could do. The mom of four says there were moments she didn't think she would make it. My family would call me FaceTime. My kids would see me that way, you know, and it was very difficult times. Uh, my husband would go to sleep at night not knowing if the next morning when he woke up if I would still be there. Doctors say breakthrough hospitalizations are very rare but are more common among those who are vulnerable. We are seeing more breakthrough infections um, since the Delta variant came about, mostly because of how infectious the Delta variant is. And I think we're seeing that now more uh, because of waning immunity. Experts say don't wait to get your booster shot. And if you have someone high risk in your family, it is best to wear a mask and do rapid testing before getting together for the holidays. Meanwhile, Kubler is now in a rehab facility doing physical therapy. She hopes to be reunited with her kids and husband very soon. It was like a moment that I'd never thought I would see. And it's just true that I know that I'll be now able to go home to them and if hopefully in about a month, and hopefully it's before Christmas. Now, there is a GoFundMe page to help with Coopler's medical expenses right now. If you would like to help, we will have a link online at azfamily.com. Yeah,